Okay, this is a um, video demonstration of the planetary atmospheric scattering asset that I'm working on. And um, so in this video we're going to just be changing this Earth-like uh, atmosphere into a um, Mars reddish or uh, like gassy kind of atmosphere. And so uh, first off I guess we'll just start with making a material. So let's go material, we'll go call this Mars atmosphere. Okay, now we're going to change this uh, shader to the uh, atmospheric scattering shader under PAS for planetary atmospheric, atmospheric scattering. And next we're going to need a um, lookup table, but we, we're going to have to generate that. Let me first put this on here. I'm going to have to change this to 1. Right now it looks you know, weird because we don't have a lookup table and stuff. So, we're going to have to go make that by going to um, right here. This is the um let me just delete this. We're going to um delete the no, I mean run this and this is to generate lookup table so we're gonna set this the resolution of the table to be five twelve, which is generally a good resolution. Um I find that one hundred and twenty eight uh by hundred and twenty eight for resolution is um the best for uh, like if you wanna just get the most um the most Accuracy without sacrificing, uh, well, the mo the least amount of uh, memory usage, without sacrificing too much visual quality. 128 re resolution is good, and that's usually about a 25 kilobyte um, image, but it's not so it's not too bad. But this is also pretty good. So uh, I usually go with the 100 step count, and then the atmospheric scale is going to put 1.1. The Rayleigh density is going to have to pretty be pretty high because it's, we're going to create a sort of um, like Mars looking planet so we're going to go with 1.2 that's usually about good for this now uh, the main density is actually going to be pretty low I'm going to put that to 0.05 we're just going to generate right there save to right here and, uh, yeah. now one thing that's kind of frustrating about this in the newest update is um, so I can't drag this here anymore it's just pretty frustrating so you just go into here show version. Um, the, I'm going to drag that in here. I'm going to drop in there, and then now I should generate it up here. Okay. Now this is the new one, right? Yeah, okay. Now you got to change some important settings right here. So we're going to have to override this and change the compression to RGBA alpha. And this is, no, I mean uh, RGBA uh, half. And this is to preserve the, um, like the data generated from this. We're going to change this to a point and then uh, to a clamp and that's you know it's good now that should be good for supply and go to here now I think it was this one right let me check oh, no it's this one right. oh, dang it no drag this on right here now it still doesn't look like much but that's, you just need to press update now so we have this kind of like still earth looking thing because we haven't changed the colors so it's just kind of like a really, I don't know, like low atmosphere Earth right now. But if we change the colors, then it should start looking more like Mars. So let's change this to a reddish color, right? And that looks looks pretty good. Let me go to camera. Now let's change this to um, sunlight intensity. Let me put this at 30. No, it's giving it just a slight reddish hue. Now let me go to a density of 7.5, I guess. Let's do something like that. I mean, yeah. Um, this right here, by the way, is just a multiple of all these values. So basically, this just multiplies all these values. So I can actually change this. So let me say, um, change this to 2 or 5. That would be weird. Let me try this. No, let me just leave that up as what it was. But yeah, you can these values you can change, but I don't really recommend you change them. Usually, what you're going to want to change is this one. These are constants generated using some methods that I haven't really like that are just kind of like light wave constants. Anyway, um, may scattering constant you can just this doesn't change very much right now because we don't have too much may scattering anyway. So let's change this to two point two point five, I guess. Whatever. Let me see what that looks like on them. It usually is most effective right here. If we go into here and change the release, you'll notice a difference here. Sort of like how much um, 
is so let's go with like something like that. So let's go point point seventy five. I usually like to round it to some interesting number. Now that seems good. So now we have this atmosphere that is um, kind of like reddish looking. We can actually change this. So I mean, we're we're done now, but like we can change this to some other color. So let's change this to like I don't know, darker. Or we could change here, so then we have uh, like a really light blue or cyan colored atmosphere. We can have a dark blue atmosphere. We could even go like this. This looks pretty interesting. And then if we go onto the camera, then it's down here, and we can come up. And it's sort of like a it has an interesting look to it, but it's kind of hurts the eyes. But you, you get the point. We can actually change this back a little bit to over here, and so it's just kind of like a weirder looking Earth planet. Um, yeah. But yeah, you can tweak all these values as much as you like to create any sort of planetary atmosphere you're going for. Uh, and so yeah, that's about it. So, well, hope you learned from this, and I uh, hope it was helpful. So, see ya.